All right, everybody. So uh, it's been a while since I made a video. Just made a video um, about kind of what's going on with my situation in, in uh, with uh, my real estate that I've got going on. But anyways, um, let's see. What in the hell was this? I'm trying to think. So, uh, man. So my best friend. Okay. Me and my best friend, Nick, have been best friends, you know, it's been a little over 20 years, you know, I met him probably 22 years ago, and through another friend, anyways, been my best friend ever since, you know, he, I've got a business that, that uh, he basically, um, this lady was selling this business, and he said, hey man, you should buy this business, I know you want to be a entrepreneur, and you want to have your own business, and blah, 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 so... You know, I went and looked at it, and hell, this was almost five years ago. So, I've had that business renamed it and whatever um, for five years now. So, and I still have my full time job, and I, you know, been there for fourteen years. But, anyways, the point is, my best friend, um, he actually has a twin brother. They're not identical. Um, he has an older son who's 17. He's getting ready to be 17 this year. Um, he also... He has a... Um, I think he's been married for six years to his wife. And they have three kids together. So he's got four kids. He doesn't really get to see his older son um, that from his previous marriage. That, that chick was crazy. Um, so, yeah, his uh, youngest isn't even two yet. His uh, middle son is like six and his daughter's seven. Um, so, with my whole situation going on, I, um, you know, I, I went over to his house on Easter and had, uh, you know, kind of had hung out with them and kind of had a meal with them, him and his family. His, his, uh, he's got an older brother too. And, uh, his parents and, and his wife ended up coming, but his kids were there. Um, you know, hung out with them on Easter and, you know, I hadn't really hung out with him in a while. Um, we kind of had some differences. Um, silly really, but but anyways, man, he he's a he's been my best friend for over 20 years, um, and we have a, a friend that we kind of knew in high school, and uh, this this guy's a kind of a mess, man, and he's been a real good friend to him. I mean, th this guy he really doesn't have anybody. His wife pretty much left him, um, but I mean. My friend Nick, he just do anything for anybody. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know. But anyways, the point of this video is... Um, hell, I can't even remember what fucking day it was, but... His, uh, his brother called me one day, and he said, Hey, man, um, you know... I kind of, because I kind of, I, I really hadn't talked to his brother either for a long time, and I seen him a couple, gosh, I think it might, hell, it might have been two years ago at the at the swimming pool. Talked to him a little bit, and then, uh, but anyways, after Easter, you know, I, I kind of, me and my family went and hung out with him and his family, um, not too long after that, maybe a week or two, you know, so, anyways, um, but anyways, this day, I and I can't honestly remember what day it is. Um, I want to say it was the 12th. Yeah, I think it was the 12th. May 12th, I think it was. But anyways, um, his, his one brother calls me. He says, hey man, uh, he said, what are you doing? I'm like, nothing man. He's like, hey man, Nick just got in a motorcycle accident and died. And I'm like, what What the fuck, man? What the fuck? 
you know, I'm like, he's like, yeah, um, I'm, I'm on my way to the house or his house or whatever, and I'm like, oh, okay, and I'm like, I'm pretty much that was the end of the conversation. I'm like, what the fuck? So, and I was actually getting ready to go to work at the time. I mean, it was in the afternoon, late afternoon, something like that, but I'm just like, and I just made some food and I sat down to eat and I'm just like, what the fuck? What the fuck? I, you know, I didn't know what the hell to think. You know what I mean? I'm like, what the fuck? Cause he, you know, he had a, he had a nice, he had a nice motorcycle that he had got a really good price at the time. I, I don't know if it was a year ago or maybe hell, it might have been two years ago. But he really didn't ride that much. He actually had bought a minivan because they got three kids. Actually, they have two minivans. But hell, um, so I think this was like a Thursday. I think it was a Thursday. I think I closed on that four-unit house on Friday. But anyways, so I'm sitting there trying to eat. I mean, I didn't even touch the food. I'm just like, what the fuck? I, I, I could not think. I was blown away. Blown away. So I'm like, what the hell, man? So anyways, I was like, you know what? I called his brother back and I said, hey, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to his house. So I left. I just left. Um, and and I was at, I stayed at my mom's at the time. My son was there, and I I was like, I gotta go. Um, you know, my mom was mowing the grass or something, riding along or she was mowing the grass. I was getting ready to go to work or whatever, but and I was like, hey, tell my mom something bad happened and I'll be back. But I went to his house. It lives like 10 minutes away, but I went to his house. His wife was there and her parents, and, and she was just in pieces, you know. Um, and then his brother ended up showing up with, with his parents and his other brother came and you know I, I kind of felt awkward because it was like his immediate family and but you know I, he's my best friend he's been my best friend for 20 years but I was just blown away how this could just happen and what had happened I uh, I guess the other day off of work you know he had I guess for some reason the kids had a two hour delay to school Anyways, yeah, so, uh, the, the kids had a tour delay, you know, he was playing with the kids on the floor, having a good time with them, and then they went to school, and, uh, you know, it was a couple hours later or something, I guess he was on his motorcycle, gonna go see the kids at school and have lunch with them. So, he was on his way, and I think this, there was a stretch, and it's like 55 miles an hour, well, some... 19 year old kid he had like his sister and his mom in the car it was driving um basically it was coming the other direction turn left right in front of nick he had no way out i guess he laid the bike down and, and you know crashed into the back um the back passenger side wheel and broke his neck might have lived five minutes he had a helmet on, but, you know, lived five minutes because he broke his neck and, and died. So, he's in heaven now. I mean, he was a big, I, I don't know. He was, he became, became a, a very spiritual person. I mean, he was always... Always in a church, always gave, even at the lowest point in his life, he always gave to a church, you know, to the less fortunate or whatever, you know what I mean? But, I mean, I have a big understanding with the Lord, um, 
and I've had a hard time fighting off temptation, um, even fighting Satan off, you know what I mean? I've always had an addiction to women, and addiction's hard to overcome. It's like, you have to go, to, it's just day by day, day by day with anything. You have to, I don't know, it's, there's so much to it, but, I mean, I, I've fought addiction off, and the only addiction I've ever had is women, so, um, anyways, the whole point is, you know, he lost his freaking life, but, uh, um, his father-in-law is actually a pastor at the church they go to, um, and his father-in-law's got several businesses, but they actually have a foster agency. Um, he's a pastor at their church, but he doesn't take the pay, which, I mean, that's that's big. You know, it really is. Um, he doesn't do it for the money, because I think a lot of, a lot of churches are out there just for the money. But anyways, um, they had, a, you know, they had the viewing at a funeral home, and, I mean, there was, there was a line out the door to see him, I mean, he was such, he was such a great person, and, you know, you, you maybe you don't realize it until, until the, the time, you know what I mean, but, he, uh, They had a like a memorial service at the church afterwards, after the the viewing or whatever. But uh, it was a packed house. I mean, there was hundreds of people in there. Hundreds of people. I mean, w when I die, I you know, if I have half of them people, I would be grateful. If I had half of those people at my funeral, and it was crazy because. There was people that I thought would be there that weren't there. And there was people... There's people there that, you know, I didn't know who they were. Um, there's people that, you know, I seen 10 years ago that was acquainted with him. And it's like, you just don't realize what a great person. I, I didn't... <clears throat> I mean, I knew he was a good person, but I didn't realize how great he was. You know, and it's like... It's kind of weird how everything worked out. It's kind of like he made peace with a lot of things. I don't know. It was, I don't know. The memorial service was great. Um, I don't know. I can't even. But, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I, I'm at such a loss for words. I mean, I can't even. I mean, I love the guy. He was my best fucking friend for 20 years. You know what I mean? I mean, I I can't think of any time where I could just... Something would just wear on me so heavy that it would just make me cry. You know? I mean, I was... There were times where I would just be working. And I would just be like, man, I can't... The, these kids... I mean, they love their father so much. I mean, they were those three kids were attached to him at the hip, you know, and then his older son, you know, didn't want much to do with him, but it, that was his, that was his ex-wife, you know, that had brainwashed this poor kid, so, I don't know, I'm just at a loss, I mean, I love the guy so much, I know he's in a better place, and you know, I'm, I'm glad, and I'm happy for him that he's not suffering in pain, for God knows how long that that he died almost instantly. You know what I mean? I feel so sorry for his wife because they were at a point in their marriage where they understood each other. I mean, because they, they used to fight, like, at each other's throats um, because they were both so stubborn and with each other. They'd be mad at each other for days. I mean, I've never been with a woman and been mad at, and we've been mad at each other for days on end, <clears throat> but anyways, I mean, the guy was a great dude, but I just thought I'd let you guys know, 
what's going on in my life. Um, and if you watch the other video I just made um, about my real estate investing uh, situation, uh, I mean, I've technically been homeless for, let's see, almost two months now. So, and it'll be another month, two months <laughs> before I before I'm able to get into this house that I'm purchasing right now for a primary residence. But anyways, um, Nick, I love you, man. I think about you all the time. You know. Anyways, like, subscribe, comment. Um, gosh, hit me up. Fasting vegan at fasting vegan on Instagram, fasting vegan at gmail.com. But uh, anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Hopefully, I have some uh, good content coming soon. But uh, so I'll let you guys know I haven't made a video in a while on either of my channels. So I'll talk to you guys soon. God bless. See ya.